are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Galoob Galaxy Ranger toy line from 1986, only available in the UK area. And this is an interesting toy line. The toys are built relatively well. They've held up really well over the past 30-something years. And I have to say they're kind of unique. They're kind of interesting. This is a very small toy line. Everything they made for it is right in front of you, aside from a couple of roleplay guns and the horses. So aside from that, everything's right here. We're going to talk about each one of these figures, the characters, and I'm also going to talk about a yellowed dock. A really uh, yellowed, because of all of the white plastic, it got yellowed. I whitened it. We're going to see the results of that at the end of this and coming up. So I want to start out talking about Goose, and the thing about Goose is he is a wild, crazy character. Before I get into him, his figure, and all the other figures, I want to talk about size comparisons. So Galaxy Ranger is drastically shorter than Brave Star, but about the same size as, well, maybe a little shorter than a Centurion. So it kind of gives you an idea of the height the size that he is. So it's a pretty good size figure. Collecting Brave Stars what got me into this. And I think these actually are are better looking and, and even a little bit better built in a way. Figures, uh, it just depends on how well they held up. But some of the Brave Stars didn't hold up so well. But there's the size comparison. And he is indeed taller than a Spiral Zone figure and taller than G.I. Joe Classified. So so his height, he's a, he's a bit bigger uh, back in the day, they made him big, so pretty good size figure. Have you two met? So, getting a good look at Shane Goose Guzman, and this is the star of the show, the Super Trooper, and just kind of I, I don't know, I took the the front of every episode. The show itself was pretty good. I kind of enjoyed catching up on it, but looking at him, he's got he's a blonde dude. Brown hair, blue eyes. Uh, really, look at the shine, the sheen on that figure. Uh, and, and he's got kind of a scarf. Or, is that what it is? Now, it's kind of strange. I, I'm showing here. I do have uh, a lot of reproduction guns. I bought a bunch of reproduction guns. I have probably about three or four real ones and originals. And the rest are reproduction. If you watch my channel, you know I have nothing wrong or nothing against reproductions whatsoever. But uh, yeah, this guy does look pretty good. And... Uh, another fun thing about these, well, I don't know if it's fun, but these holsters, they're, they're kind of strange the way they're set up, but they're set up so that you could actually, uh, you can like draw, like quick on the draw kind of thing with them, but they're usually missing. A lot of times you find them missing, but uh, we got a lot of paint apps in here and stuff. Uh, this one, of course, is, is probably I probably have one that's a little bit better than this, but again, they're kind of yellow. You're going to see kind of the problems with the yellowing. Uh, coming up when I do the yellowing segment. Now, getting into this, they all have the same feature. Now, I'm going to get rid of these guns, and then uh, I guess I'll talk about reproduction stuff here in a little bit, but uh, where to get them. I'm going to link that down below, too, where you can get reproduction stuff. But this dude here is... Uh, it's this side. So, it's only one arm that does the whole gimmick. Now, I'm only going to do it once with one figure, with, I guess, him. You push it to the back like that. And then there's this lever here. You push down on the lever, and it will quick draw McGraw. And that's the whole effect. Now, I think it's kind of strange. Somehow his arms misaligned over, you know, 30-something years. But uh, still, I think they hold up pretty well. And they, this is a good-looking figure. Pretty solid. Most of his paint's still there. He hasn't yellowed too much, which is why I like this one the most, because he hasn't yellowed as much. But here is the hat that it comes with, and... Uh, it's kind of a rubbery hat, and it's got this little line in there, and that's pretty simple, but a lot of times it's missing the hat, so it's kind of a challenge. So again, reproductions, there's reproduction stuff out there, there's even reproduction holsters out there, I'll link all that for you, 
so that you can get into it. But this goose is a pretty cool looking figure. Let's look at the next one. You don't really expect us to hand you the galaxy on a silver platter, do you? So next up we have Walker Doc Hartford. I just call him Doc for short, I guess. But uh, this looks pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's kind of interesting how he's, they didn't just use the same body over and over and over. So for all three of them, there are separate bodies. Although these two look very similar, they're not the same. They're different. They're similar, but different. And because his whole shirt is pretty much blue, he looks way different than the other two. But they are each a little bit different in their own ways. Let's take a quick look at the head sculpt here. And looks pretty good. Uh, again, I might need to touch up the hair, some paint rub on the hair. He has... This one is not the one that went through the whitening process, and he is a bit yellowed. I think this figure specifically, and I don't know why, I see more yellowing on more of these that are yellowed. Not that they're more yellow than any other yellow figures, but I see this one uh, yellowed more often than the other characters. Maybe that's just the randomness of it, I don't know, and somehow he was left in the sun, I don't know. But anyhow, he does look pretty cool. I think that they're guns get stuck in the hands over time it just kind of melts to it i don't know uh i've seen that with a lot of these but anyway looks pretty cool he's got like a little stripe right there i don't know if that's signify his rank or whatever uh they do have some articulation in the legs which is not much and articulation in the knee and that's about it no elbow articulation and then the the left arm moves around head moves side to side this is doc this is his hat, and looks good. Now, this one here is Zachary Fox, and uh, he's got like some sort of a bionic left arm. It looks like the same left arm uh, I saw on Doc, but anyway, <laughs> they might have used the exact same left arm. But the thing about him, uh, well, not much. This one actually seems like the most boring of them. Uh, there's his head sculpt, and... I, I do like how it's kind of a shiny blue in there, and uh, if the, if you can get the white to be bright and white, um, it's just I think you might have to I might have to bleach all of these down somewhere down the line. But anyway, uh, they do have the same gimmick where they quick draw McGraw kind of thing, and I think this one stopped working. So a couple of mine just stopped working. I tried them once or twice, then the third time stopped working. But uh, anyhow. Uh, this guy here, kind of simple, kind of boring. I mean, he's the most boring of the bunch and not much to him with his little bionic arm. So looking at the bad guys, there's a couple of differences between all the bad guys. First off, instead of the right arm being the one that pulls the gun or whatever has the gimmick, the left arm has the gimmick. And, and then these come with soft goods. Now, I made my own soft goods because they were missing, and I'm sure it's a terrible soft good. He's supposed to come with some sort of a an overcoat kind of deal and mine just looks like a silly cheap cape I guess but hey it's something uh, it was my first attempt I'll probably try it again down the road now without the fake cape on he does look really good uh, this dude is crazy looking first off he has this like electronic eye patch and that's cool he's got this stripe of gray he's got a touch of gray have you heard a touch of gray he's got a touch of gray uh, really cool looking mustache going on so there's a lot going on with this dude and uh, he is, of course, a bad guy. Uh, they outlined his abs. In case you didn't see that he has a 6, 8, 12-pack, whatever, they outlined it for you. He has this huge arm, and, of course, it just moves around. And it's kind of interesting because the way these are constructed, I took this guy apart. Uh, this holds it together. Not only do you have screws in the back that hold it together, this holds it together. Ah, there's that. And uh, he's got a little bit of uh, paint right here. Uh, kind of some crazy paint there a little line striping right there which this line's shorter than that line that's strange knee pad and some boots pretty cool looking dude overall pretty menacing looking guy kind of fun but uh you know this is a bad guy but uh he's not the baddest of the bad guys if you fail me again you will end up inside a psycho crystal the baddest of the bad guys is the queen and of course another makeshift cape i just stapled it uh, i need to get a button and i'm pretty sure if i look hard enough i'll find a button that looks perfect then i just pull my staple out and sew in the button but again this cape's not great so we're gonna 
Well, we're going to look at her without the cape. Uh, so looking at her without the cape, uh, this is, I think this is actually the better one and it of the two that I have. And this is the queen of the crown. This one actually has the holster and the holsters on the opposite side, just like the rest of them. And she does have her quick draw McGraw and it still works, but I'm not going to tempt fate and break it. Now I do like the fact that she is purple, like this purple look to her. She does have trouble standing because she is the smallest of them. So this purple look looks good. It looks pretty cool. She does have a crown and she has some paint on that crown. Uh, I like the little red uh, outline right there of her collar going down to her like V-neck and a little bit of blue right there. So kind of a cool looking figure all around. A bit plain overall though. That's why they gave her the soft goods. I mean, she looks plain and give her the soft goods. Now they did have a female character in there. I think she can right here on the picture, a female character. They did not make the female Galaxy Ranger figure. I don't remember her name. But it's strange because female figures in these vintage lines are the hardest to find if they even made them. I'm glad they made at least one. Would have liked to have seen her, like to see the line go past series one, but it didn't. And so this is the only female character we get. But she is kind of cool. She is kind of mean. She is kind of ominous looking with that mean look on her face. Last up on the agenda here, we have Captain Kid. This actually was the first of the Galaxy Rangers I got. He was the cheapest and easy to find, but I guess it was because he was missing his holster. And at the time, I just didn't realize, like, the whole holster thing and all that, just trying to learn about this. I don't think he's actually a bad guy. He's like a captain. He's sort of like a, just a, a standard citizen, I think. Uh, captain of his own ship, is what I think. But, anyhow... He kind of like uh, plays both sides or whatever, I guess, in the show. But he's big. He's hefty. He's got a lot of heft behind him. Uh, again, same level of articulation, which is very little, but at least something's there. And he does have his gimmick from the left side. Of course, I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to mess with it so much. Uh, but he does have some interesting color scheme with the turquoise, the blue, and the orange, and some black pants and a yellow. So he's got a lot of color going on. And he's got these little backwards kind of horns right there so that's kind of strange still kind of cool he's more of like uh, a citizen of space rather than a bad guy since i don't actually have the horses now the horses are kind of elusive they're kind of hard to get i figure you know i might as well have a couple of extra 30 30s laying around so they can have some sort of horses to ride now goose sits on it the best uh, it just seems like the way he is he's designed he fits on it the best uh over here, Fox fits on it the worst. Doc's sort of right in the middle. But again, I think it looks okay. I think their their actual horse is narrower. It's a narrower design. So I really don't want to try to stress it too far to put them on there. But I think you can make them all fit and make them all look good. They just they don't look perfect. But I mean, it's, it's an option. And although I have to admit 3030 is not the cheapest thing out there, it's still available as where the horses are almost non-existent. Next up on the agenda here is the Zap Pack. It's the only accessory that actually works with the toys, aside from maybe the roleplay blasters might work also. But basically what you're supposed to do is push this button right here and shoot it towards the sensor right here and get some sort of activation. Now, this set doesn't work. Uh, most sets don't work. And I'm gonna have to take all of it apart to make it work. And then if I take it apart, I might even do more harm than good. And I don't really care, actually. But it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. Same thing they do with Brave Star, Laser Tag, Photon, those kinds of things all along the way. But you could take the backpack off. You can put it in here. And it folds up kind of like oh, Stan. And it folds up kind of like this. So I kind of figure between the two of these, I can get one of them to work. I hope. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully, possibly, we'll see one day. Now for the results of the discoloration and the decoloration of Doc. Uh, this thing was like super tea stained. I left it out in 20% hydrogen peroxide for three days. Now he has improved significantly. As you can see from the picture that I'm posting next to it, he's improved significantly, including down here on the holster. But he needs more time. I think a big part of the problem right now is is there's just not that much sun 
out there. You need a bright sunny day for it to work right. And I'm going to try the paste next. I really want to get this thing gleaming bright and looking good and looking like new. The, the downside is though, the yellow is gone. If you can see it right here, the yellow paint is gone. Yellow paint always kind of fades when it comes to it. So kind of looking at a before and after the yellow paint is gone. You can see on the before it had some yellow paint. No, that's not tea stained uh, badge. So let me know what you think about this Galaxy Ranger toy line. Did you have any back in the day? Do you have any today? Is this something that even interests you? Did you have the Brave Star line? Did you know this existed? Did you watch the cartoon? Because I didn't watch the cartoon or collect these back when I was a kid. But I think it's a really cool toy line. It's a relatively small toy line. Sort of hard to get a hold of, but not impossible. So like, subscribe, comment below. Cut your hanger out. Zachary, thanks for backing me. The day we don't trust one another is the day the Galaxy Rangers are finished. You told me you were the most powerful of the Super Troopers. <laughs> you will give me the rest of MindNet. How about some stunt clones? I could save the universe while I'm sound asleep. <laughs> no, I'm serious.